Were you successful? Do not show me. I have seen too much already. I need never lay eyes on it again. Mama, I will return to New Orleans and set everything right. Then I will send for you. My dear, tenacious daughter. I want nothing more than to be close to you again. But this colony is my place now. The people here need me. Nouvelle Orléans will always be haunted. I understand. Don't worry. This will not be the last you see of me. Be careful. My child.
Papa, you're the face of death. What does the doctor say? <coughs> Do not worry, ma chérie. It is only... <coughs> Papa! <coughs> my dear love, do not frown so. Between your worry and your stepmother's tonic, the malady hurts less than the cure. <laughs> oh, Jeanne, you were always so protective of that locket. I have always regretted that. Evelyn, I am sorry for interrupting, but I need your assistance. It is urgent. Of course. I love you, Papa. <laughs> there is a slave, George. I promised him safe passage to the north, but during his escape he was discovered by soldiers. He hides, but... Please, is there anything you can do? With your business booming and your contacts in the bayou? Oui. I will get him to safety. In utmost discretion. Yes? Come with me. What? Hurry, they're closing in. No one said anything about avenging angels, or... Go! Find safety in the bayou!
Evelyn! Who is this? George. A friend. We have a situation I'm hoping you'll help with. Evelyn, a friend of yours is a friend of ours. But uh, we've got a situation of our own brewing. Aaron, Spanish friends, want us to hand these supplies over to some, how do you say, patriot, at the edge of the swamp. Patriots. What? You know, from the north. A rebellion, upheaval, etc. A business opportunity by any other name. But for some reason, the Spanish soldiers keep trying to steal the supplies back. This sounds awfully familiar. You don't think... Oh, I try never to think. <laughs> Suppose George and I were to help you with your rogue Spanish soldier problem. Would your patriot friends escort him north? If they want more supplies, they'll accept. Good. Let's go. Post up ahead. These are the goods? Everything the Gouverneur promised. And a few uh, bonus items from your friends in the bayou. Excellent. You weren't detected, I hope? Not by any who still breathes. <laughs> Monsieur Hopton, how secret is your arrangement with our Spanish Gouverneur? Any fool can see the Spanish want to keep the English out of their territory. Any sense why Spanish soldiers would be shooting at us? We did meet one man who didn't seem so keen on the arrangement. Contrary fellow. Vasquez, I think was his name? The company man is here. The what man? 
Monsieur Hopton, if you want your supplies to make it out of La Louisiane, additional security would be wise. May I suggest George accompany you? Certainly. If he's willing to fight, the Patriot cause will be glad to have him. I will fight for you, sir. Over any cause. Be careful, Monsieur Hopton. I hope to see you again. Um, Monsieur Roussillon and I value your business. I will. The, uh, Patriots value your support. from Erudito. What is it they do not want you to see? A message from Erudito. Small gesture. Hardly enough. I can offer them a wage, but what good is money without freedom? One day, it will come. Or you will make it. I know it. And in the meantime, what? I should congratulate myself while every day they face abuse, or worse? The Templars will never allow slaves to be free. They keep even the rich in bondage. Though most people would never suspect. Gerald, if my father hadn't freed my mother, I'd be in the same predicament. But he did. I still owe them better.
Aveline. Gérald, he is back. Vasquez, the company man. Have any of your informants seen him? No. Aveline, since last week I have lost two of my men. Killed. Poison. <sighs> this is his work. I must find him. Perhaps he will attend the Capitan's ball this evening. Shall I confirm your attendance? Oui. Thank you, Gérald. And, um, Aveline, I... You will need someone to accompany you. I don't suppose... Gérald, are you asking to accompany me? Uh, well... Oui. For, um, blending purposes, I believe it would be best. Strictly business, of course. Of course. But not too strict, I hope. <laughs> what a noble concept. Of course, war is always good for business. Particularly a war that's not in our territory. The good Spanish governor provides the goods. I relay them to my associates in the bayou. And they handle the... transfer. Completely bloodless. For me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Aveline. Lovely as ever. How does your father fare? Stubborn as always. I look forward to seeing him on his feet soon. You must allow me one dance, that I may showcase your grace in your father's stead. That is very kind, Monsieur de saint maxin And if you could perhaps waltz me by your esteemed associate in the blue cravat, I have a business opportunity I'd like to put before him. Evelyn, always so serious. Nothing like my daughter Marie Felicité. Beneath the uniform, he is no true military man, I assure you. Twice, the recruiters have approached me, claiming to offer me promotion if I'll serve in his secret unit. But I don't trust it, no, senor. Good man. We could use more young men like you, with a head on their shoulders. Good evening, senorita. Uh, you look familiar. Uh, were you at the governor's dinner party last week? I'm so sorry, I don't remember your name. Perfectly understandable for a man with such important affairs as yours, Capitan. Thank goodness for your service in the colony. The thanks is all mine, senorita. Will you allow me to express it with a dance? Why, certainly, Capitan. I should warn you to be careful, senorita. Even here at this delightful party, the danger is present. All soldiers are not what they appear. We were just discussing a terrible man. How scandalous! Is he here tonight? He is, at this moment, seated at a secluded table. Until the gavotte, Capitan. I shall think of nothing else. Who do you think I should marry? <laughs> uh, whichever of us is the best dancer. You would have me dance with all of you? I shall be exhausted. Please, senorita, allow me to save you the trouble. You need only dance with me. <laughs> Marie Felicité, I thought the Doucet Maxon girls only had eyes for governors. Now, who is this? Senorita, give us your name, that we may know how to address the fairest woman at the ball. Fair? I think not. But still, your complexion is beguiling. Uh, please, senorita, allow me to complete your dance card. I'm afraid it's already full. That is simply her way. Have you heard? She prefers her father's warehouse to two parties. Never calls on any of us. And her complexion? <laughs> of course she's a dear friend of the family, but her mother? It is shocking.
señorita. Why I do believe the minuet is the next dance, Senor Vasquez. Si, si. somewhere private to discuss it? Si, si. Lead the way. Madeleine! Aveline. I did not know you were attending. I came only to find you. How could you? A ball with your father on his deathbed. I... Save your words. It is too late. He is gone. Papa! No. I am so sorry, but you had to know with your circumstances that it could not leave you anything. Of course, my house remains open to you. I care not about his will, only that he has gone. His business is in my name, but I consider it yours. The law has no place between us. The construction of our network has required an investment of several years. The help of our American friends means we can now reach further than before. One of our newest informants sends word of a loyalist in New York who might, with a little pressure, unmask the company man. Please, go to New York and find your brother Connor. I have enlisted his help in locating Officer Davidson of Lord Dunmore's Ethiopian Regiment.
Connor? I'm Aveline de Grand Prix, your brother from New Orleans. Yes. Achilles told me you would come. I seek a loyalist, Officer Davidson, of Lord Dunmore's Ethiopian regiment. That regiment passed through here. Look at the destruction they left. Their trail leads this way. We will follow them carefully. Over there! Through the trees! A trap! Keep after the sentry. I will hold off these men. Unhand me! One chance to keep your life. Where is Davidson? Who? Come on, time's up. He's in the fort! That was easy. Why is it you call yourselves loyalists again? Easier to be loyal in the safety of the fort than out in the snow with a knife to your neck. Run home, now. And don't let me see you again. You won't be able to run then. Yes, ma'am. The fort. We climb. Can you get across?
that smirk off your face. Can you find a way in? I will go around and divert attention. Officer Davidson, if you would kindly pay me the respect my rank commands now. Fighting for the British? And working for my enemy who would enslave you? I'll say something's rank. Ha! The loyalists have guaranteed my freedom. I will fight for it and win it for myself. Meanwhile, the slaves and the poor are targets in New Orleans, and you play the hero in New York. Who do you serve? And do you really think yourself free? Charity should begin at himself, Miss Avelina.
I had hoped it would not come to this. Now, in death, eternal freedom. You mock me. I chose my destiny. That is real freedom. Perhaps one day you will know it too. I... Who is the company man? <laughs> the answer has been in your own backyard all along. Just open your eyes. <sighs> Did you find what you sought? We, oui. and much that I didn't. Connor, are you always certain in the means and ways of the Brotherhood? I trust my own hands. Of course. Travel safely. It's the arrival that concerns me. <laughs> then you are on the right path.